all right fam so we are back at it again with another crazy crazy video now in today's video we have a video i think his name is bedros i think that's how you say his name bedros I don't know why I got a little accent with it. You see, I'm over here acting like a Kamala now. Look, okay, anyways, so this the title of this video kind of caught my attention. It said, if you're thinking about voting for Kamala Harris in 2024. So I'm actually I'm actually curious on what he has to say about Kamala Harris. But without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Also, let's have a, a, a mutual, you know, friendly conversation in the comment section below. Let me know who y'all voting for in 2024. Who do you have in mind? Of who you want to vote for kamala or trump all right so let me know down below who you voting for or if you're even voting at all i know it's a lot of people that's not voting this year which is kind of sad but if you are voting let me know who you vote for without further ado let get it let go what are your thoughts on kamala harris running from president all right so for me, listen here's the deal i understand that joe biden got the boot mm -hmm. and the kamala harris is now being propped up by the democratic party to be the nominee for the Democratic Party as a president. The scariest thing to me is that people are actually considering voting for Kamala Harris, right? Mm. And when I start asking people, why are you voting for Kamala Harris? I hear one of two things. Well, I don't like Trump. Basically, it's Trump derangement syndrome. They hate Trump so much because they've been fooled by the media about who Trump is and what he does. And I get it, man. There might be some moral stuff about Trump that you don't align with. But I'm not saying you should have Trump raise your kids. I'm saying that Trump is the best bet for our country. Mm -hmm. But let's leave Trump out of this for now. So one, it's either I hate Trump, so I'm voting for Kamala. Or two, it's I'm voting for Kamala because she's our first black, she's going to be our first black woman president. She uh, that as well. Yeah. Biggest problem with that is up until like two years ago she kept telling the whole world she's indian because she's half indian half jamaican mm -hmm. and uh, her dad is either half black or half indian or half whatever I was say he's not she's not half because no. her dad's half yeah so she's like 25. she's 25. which well, not saying that doesn't make you black but it's just you know right yeah we're not going to sit here and split hairs but the <laughs> right. bottom line is this she's retarded <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna, She's look, 100 I'm gonna look down the barrel of the camera right now and say Kamala Harris is retarded. She's bad for this country. If you want inflation to continue, if you want the go be fucked up where you can't afford anything, if you're considering selling your booty on the streets and you're like a mom or a dad and you're like, I can't believe I have to resort to prostitution as a grown ass man because look, she's gonna carry what, what Joe Biden did to a whole new level because she believes in the Marxist communist way. She, when I say she believes, that her puppeteers believe mm -hmm. all that. Right. If you think about what she did in California when she was the uh, attorney general here in California, she has the record for putting more black men in jail for small, tiny amounts of weed. Right. And then instead of letting them serve half the time, a quarter of the time, she wouldn't let them out because she these these black men were the lowest form of like almost unpaid. So they were like the lowest form of employees available to the government. So in terms of like doing infrastructure work and all this stuff, like they're getting cheap labor out of them. So if she's now all of a sudden claiming black, when all, all up until this point, she was claiming Indian, right? And there's even like stuff out there on TV that shows her like saying that she's, you know, got Indian heritage, etc. And race shouldn't even be a part of it. One, she can't even articulate her words. She can't put a string of thoughts together. She has no policy that she's running on. All she's running on is like, gender and and race which is a stupid Bro, thing to that is facts dog this man is i never heard of this guy until now this guy is snapping bro that is nothing but facts when you really think about it because i was wondering like people into my last video was like what policy does she has because i said you know i was saying like i vote i want to vote based off the policies like if kamala had great policies and Trump didn't have great policies, I will vote for Kamala. But however, someone was like, what policies do she have? Because now I get it. She don't have no policies. Like when you really think about it, you don't know the policies. And then I see videos of people like saying that they're going to vote for Kamala. And then they ask them like, oh, um, oh, well, some people be like, oh, well, I like her policies. Then they'll ask like, okay, what policies do she have? And they can't even answer because she don't have no policies. She just sticks to race and gender. Because she's a so-called black woman, and this is would be the this would be the first black woman president. That's all that she's going off, bro. This that wow, that is crazy. That is even, bro. It's even more mind blowing when you really think about it, bro. That junk is wild, bro. 
Oh my gosh, this is on is like gender and and race, which is a stupid thing to be running on in 2024 when people just want America to put America first again. And we want to have money to spend on our families and our food and, and be able to not think about selling our bodies for fucking sex as a grown ass man. Right. And when you think about a great option, if you're truly like, hey, I want a woman to be president one day. We'll get that opportunity and hopefully that opportunity will come in the form of Tulsi Gabbard. Like anyone watching or listening to this, go look up Tulsi Gabbard. She's she's Samoan background. She's a congresswoman of eight years from Hawaii. She is educated, well articulated, has policies that she believes in. She was part of the Democratic Party until recently when she decided to become an independent because she saw how corrupt both the Democrats and the Republicans are, and they are. And so she's become independent. She served in our military and was like in combat areas, both in Afghanistan and Iraq, or maybe it was Iraq and Syria. Um, but she worked in like the medical tents, like worked, worked on people who were like blown up and shot up and stuff. Like there's a true patriot, a woman, Samoan, so a woman of color and of ethnicity who truly believes in this country. Kamala Harris doesn't do any of that, man. She was in charge of the borders, according to Biden, that our border is just fucking overrun by illegal aliens left and right. She, does, she doesn't even know where Ukraine is. There's a video of her trying to explain where Ukraine is. Yeah, Ukraine is a country out in Europe. It's next to another country, attached to another country. Like, shut the fuck up. Countries are touching, right. bitch. Like, that's what countries in Europe do. They touch. Like, bro, I don't agree with all this cursing, bro. But, this, bro, this man is hilarious, dude. Oh, my gosh. He is hilarious. But, man, his language, bro, he, he has no no type of filter, fam. No filter whatsoever. But this junk is crazy. I, I remember seeing that video, too. Shut the fuck up. Countries are touching, right. bitch. Like, that's what countries in Europe do. They touch. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? What are you, third grader? Like, trying to explain what a country is? And Have you seen the video of uh, her talking about the border? The guy interviewing her is like, okay, so you he's asking about the border. He says, so you've been down to the border? And she, like, freezes. And she's like, well, I haven't been to Europe either. Right. And he's like... What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, she'll just say what? stupid shit, yeah, and then she'll what? go into her one of her hysterical cackles. <laughs> but I've seen that exact video. He's like, well, like, you're in charge of the border. Like, right. the president, President Biden said, like, this is what you're going to do. And the border is being overrun. You've never been down to the border. And she's like, well, I've never been to Europe either. What's your point? The point is, if I'm in charge of something and I'm the leader, I want to go see firsthand what the hell is going on. I want to talk to the people that are working the border and say, what do you think the solution is? Because I don't know what the solution is, but maybe you guys do. And then I'm going to create a cabinet and say, all right, guys, we're going to, based on what they told us the solution is, we're going to start creating solutions to this problem that exists. Mm -hmm. She did none of that because they just want the border to be porous. They want to keep pumping out money to you. Ukraine and Palestine or, or fucking Ukraine and Israel. And look, man, I'm all for helping the world, but we got to help our, ourselves first. Yes. It's America first. And her agenda, because she's got no agenda, is all about dismantling and destroying the United States as we know it. And if you love your constitution, if you love this country, she will spend the next four years shitting on it to a point where she will make Joe Biden look like a fucking desirable president. You guys, Lee, fucking accurate person on the planet, but he is the person who will gain respect for us on the political spectrum from countries that are looking to destroy us like Iran and 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 um, North Korea fucking China number one number two he will put America first in terms of keeping the money back in here in the United States instead of giving it out to fucking countries that we shouldn't even be supporting right now and number three the border like he'll close the border off again I'm an immigrant to this country I am an alien to this country I came in here legally Back in 1980, there's a process to come into the United States legally. Everyone should do that because when you come into a country legally, you value that country. I just got back from Australia two weeks ago, and I was talking to some people there. And, and all, all, all the places that I went, Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, and I'm like, hey, tell me about your immigration laws. They're like, in fact, if you're over the age of 50, Bedros, it's even hard for you to immigrate here because they're like, you're not going to be old enough to work here long enough to contribute financially to our wow. country. Mm -hmm. So we don't want you to just come here and suck and take from our country. Well, that's what we're allowing to do here. Like, why don't we adopt some of Australia's immigration laws? You know, I'm not for how Australia treated people during the pandemic, but I am all for how Australia looks out for Australia first and their people first. And so, man, there's- And that's literally what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's that simple because people who are voting Democratic or people who are voting for the Democratic Party, 
they not they not seeing the bigger picture in this. You know what I'm saying? They I know a lot of people say, well, you know, you want to help out other people. You you're supposed to help out other people. This yes, that's true. But let me put it like this. Let me put it in this in this in this example. If you have a friend and he's going, he or she going through so much, right? And they're telling you about all the things they're going through and they need all this help, but yet your family is going through some situations too. You know what I'm saying? You're going through some stuff in your marriage. Your kids need food. Yeah, you got to do this. You got to do all these different things. Who are you going to take care of first? Are you going to take care of your friend first? Or are you going to take care of your family first? You go take care of your family first. Well, at least I will hope 99.9% of y'all will take care of your family first because that's what comes first. Your friends, they can wait. They can, that. that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's not, right now, that's not important. But your family is what comes first. You know what I'm saying? So America if you are born here, if you are legally, if you legally even came here, or if you just an American citizen in general, this is what comes first. America is what comes first. We shouldn't be supporting other countries first. We shouldn't care about what other countries got going on first rather than caring about what our country has. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to focus on what our country can produce instead of taking away from what other countries are are giving us then they make us then they make our country in more debt now these countries are coming after us because we owe them money and all these bro it's just too much in the in the political sense but it's just a simple fact that we need to focus on america first not other countries not china not south korea like we need to focus on us first you feel me so that that's like the bigger picture of things, but the Democratic Party, they literally skip past all that. They don't see the bigger picture in that, bro. So many things that, that Kamala is going to do to shit on this country, and she's so bad to black Americans anyway. She just does so much history on that. Again, when she was the district attorney here in Southern California or in California, there was a dude who was on death row. And finally, evidence was that, that she put on death row right, as a district attorney. But then evidence was produced that would prove him innocent. Mm -hmm. She kept blocking that evidence from being uh, uh, shown into, into the courts. Finally, the courts above had to take her out of the equation so that the evidence would go into court and then sure enough, he was freed off of death row. Like she wanted to protect her, her reputation so badly that she was willing for a man to die. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's the person that's going to run this country? Do not believe it one second, man. She is bad, bad, bad. And as I said two and a half years ago on Instagram, and everyone called me a fucking racist and said that I'm a bad human and I'm sexist, I said Kamala Harris is our country's first DEI hire at the highest level, as in at the time, as in for a VP. And she was, because all Joe Biden says was, before he uh, he had picked the vice president, he said, I'm looking for a woman of, I'm looking for a female, and I'm looking for a female, uh, a person of color. Well, why not back mm -hmm. then pick Tulsi Gabbard? Mm -hmm. Because they knew that Tulsi Gabbard would not toe the line. Yeah, not even that, I just, and this is coming from a black person, obviously, like, why are we hiring off of that anyways? Bingo. Like, why not the most qualified person? Like, let's just say it happens to be another white person, like, <laughs> like, simple i just want to get our situation back in order like this is crazy Bro, that yeah. that's it people deserve to have money left over in their bank accounts after the month is over people deserve to have some, be able to go on a vacation yes. you deserve to buy gas without going broke you yeah. deserve to get a, a, a de decent like shopping cart full of food from the grocery store without like maxing out your credit card credit card debt is at an all-time high because people are leaning on their credit cards because their own personal income is not enough like this is all the byproduct of this biden harris administration mm -hmm. and so she's a horrible person i will i will die on that hill and anyone that says well i'm a racist and i'm this and i'm that i say wait until tulsi gabbard eventually runs for president and i believe she will and vote for her i know i will when the time comes uh, but for now trump is the best decision that we have and that man took a literally took a bullet for democracy because he's a billionaire he has no reason to run for president and let's say people are like yeah but you know he did because he wants to take advantage of this country and get even more rich and blah 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 and have bigger connections and so when you're president you can pull more strings all right well after being shot at and shot in the ear literally an attempted assassination if that was his intention just to get richer and take advantage of the country to basically rape the country if that was your intention he would have been like you know what 
I'm fucking out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an old dude, I'm a billionaire, I'm gonna go spend my money and live my life with my family. I've got generational wealth. He really gives a shit about the United States, which is why he took that bullet and came up with blood on his face yelling, fight, 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 and why there will probably be more assassination attempts on him. And he truly believes that he is going to do the right thing for the country. And I believe he's gonna do the right thing for the country and him taking a bullet and still staying in the race proved that to me. Bro. That was probably the best explanation I have ever heard in my life to why I shouldn't vote for a particular person, bro. <laughs> like even when people was talking about Trump when he, you know when he when he when he ran um uh, when he ran the first time, you know what I'm saying? And he ended up becoming well, I don't know how many times Trump actually ran, but from what I do know from when he did become president, that's the only time I kind of knew that he ran for president during that time. So this the, like even then I didn't see no videos about this explaining why you shouldn't vote for Trump. But bro, oh my gosh, he nailed it all down the like just like just through every shot. It was like bro, just bullet point, bullet point. It was crazy, man. I honestly, re I respect this video. I respect this so much. You know what I'm saying? I feel like personally, I always been saying this for the longest. Like I said, this is my first year of voting. But even before this was my first year of voting, I don't think I would ever, I don't think I ever would have voted because a person is either the same color as me or because of gender. I can care less about that. That to me just don't matter. Even in my personal life off camera, like I don't care about race. I don't care about gender. I don't care about that stuff. That stuff doesn't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, a person should be voting based off the policies of a person, not not the not the the feelings that you have towards that person like okay and like bro it'd be times where you may not like your parents because of certain things they do but are you going to just not like you like i'm just like I'm, you see what i'm saying like it's going to be times in life where you may not like a person you may not like a person character but i mean at the end of the day bro like we ain't saying like he said we ain't not telling trump to raise our kids or to to do this or do like we're not saying none of that but what we're saying is that this man he loves america as if you love america just as much as trump love america bro you will vote for trump bro simple as that if you truly love america if you truly want this country to be better if you truly want more money in your pockets and i'm not saying a little stupid stimulus i'm not talking about that i'm talking about actually understanding the fact of interest rates and and how things are just going to get lower the moment we put him in office the moment we put him in office things are going to start to get lower bro gas prices lower food lower you won't have to always depend on the government to give you the link card you know what i'm saying like we don't have to always depend on that every single month you feel me you ain't gotta always go you ain't gonna have to depend on your taxes every single year you feel me because when trump get in office you're gonna have a little bit more left over at the end of the month trust 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 vote for trump okay vote for trump do not vote for this woman kamala bro most of y'all don't even know what, what y'all why y'all voting for it Y'all like he's y'all only voting for because y'all don't like Trump. It's the only reason why y'all voting. The same reason why y'all voted for Biden because y'all didn't want Trump back in office. You didn't want Trump, so you voted for Biden. Now you don't want Trump again. You're gonna vote for Kamala. Like, come on, bro. This is not no. This is not a video game. Y'all are playing with y'all future. <laughs> like y'all are playing with the next four years of y'all life. Y'all need to get right, bro. Please get right and have some common sense, okay? Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in common sense. What did I just say? I just stuttered. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, Depend. I love each and one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.